Hi, welcome to Intro to the Heart Chakra. I'm Colleen O'Neill. I'm a fitness center manager in Plymouth, Minnesota. What are the chakras? Many cultures reference chakras, including Indian, Chinese, Tibetan, and Japanese teachings. Chakras are believed to be centers in the body through which energy flows. The chakras are said to spin and draw energy in to keep mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual health of the body in balance. Seven major chakras or energy points are aligned at different points along the spinal cord from the base of the spine to the top of the head. Although much of this is based on Eastern knowledge, they seem to correspond with the nervous circulatory lymphatic systems that we are familiar with in the West. The Sanskrit name for the heart chakra is Anahata, meaning unhurt. The location of the heart chakra is the fourth of seven chakras located at the center of the chest near the heart. When in balance, we feel joy, gratitude, love, compassion, and forgiveness. It is said when this chakra is imbalanced, one can experience asthma, heart disease, lung disease, lymph issues, upper back, shoulder, and arm imbalances. One can balance the heart chakra with yoga poses which open the heart. In other words, poses which lift the chest and rotate the shoulders externally. Some examples of that are Sphinx, Cobra, and Upward Dog. The Sphinx is the most modified of these three poses, and we're on the belly in a prone position with the elbows under the shoulders. Lift the head and chest, shoulders are down away from the ears. To extend a little bit further, come up to Cobra, where the hands are under the shoulders, and we lift and extend the spine a little bit more. And then Upward Dog is also on the hands, but we're going to extend even further, perhaps even lifting the hips off the floor. Two more groups of poses which can open the heart chakra are camels and cats and cows. For camel one, we can do that either standing, seated, or kneeling. In all three cases, the hands are going down back pockets, so they're back on the small of your back, and the fingertips are pointing down just like you're sliding them down back pockets. Elbows and shoulders are down and back. In the seated position, you can also reach back to the sides or the back of the chair. Now, camel two is in a kneeling position where you have your toes tucked under and we're reaching back at the heels. And then camel three takes the tops of the feet down onto your mat or floor. Moving into cat cow, we're on hands and knees, hands under shoulders and knees under hips, inhaling to prepare, exhaling, rounding to cat and inhaling, lowering that spine down, lowering that belly down and extending the spine. Repeat several times, exhale round and inhale to cow to an arch. Another way to balance the heart chakra is through bridge pose. You're in a supine position on your back, palms facing down and knees bent. Inhale to prepare, exhale and peel your spine up off the mat. To extend further into bridge pose, draw the shoulder blades back toward the spine and clasp the hands if you're comfortable and have healthy shoulders. Release that clasp and lower. And a final practice for the heart chakra as far as yoga practice is belly breathing. Put one hand on your belly just below your ribs and the other hand on your chest, taking a deep breath in through your nose and let your belly push your hand out. Your chest shouldn't move. Breathe out through the nose and feel your belly go in, repeating three to five times.
Other ways to balance the heart chakra include burning candles, incense, or using essential oils with rose, lavender, sandalwood, orange, or jasmine. Spending time in nature also balances the heart chakra and spending time with animals. These are the references that were used for this intro to the heart chakra. I thank you for supporting our programming at NIFS. Have a great day.